Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clayton. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Rival 9 in Modern Warfare 3. A small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you like this video, consider subscribing and also follow me on Twitch where I stream and play with followers. Also, if you'd like to, you can follow me on Twitter where you can stay up to date with me. And I also have a Discord. So if you'd like to, we can connect more on there. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so before getting into the class setup, the submachine gun category struggles a lot. And this is probably the better submachine gun to go with this one and probably the striker nine but i have the best class setup for this gun all right so starting us off over on the stock i'm using the exf close quarters assault stock this helps out with the gun kick control and recoil control you do lose a little bit of aim down side speed for uh spread of fire speed sprint speed and movement speed on the magazine we're using the 40 round mag and the reason why we're using this is because this gun just shreds through ammo and just about like any gun in this game uh i think most of them start off with 30 and that is not enough on some machine guns over on the underbarrel i'm using the xrk edge bw4 hand stop for aim walking speed movement speed aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed a lot of pros are using this attachment on their submachine guns and honestly it's the best one to go with over on the muzzle we're using the bruin pendulum just like on MW2, this is probably the best uh, muzzle to go with. We get vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control. Over on the barrel, I'm using the Rival 38E first or fire starter barrel for aim down sight speed, movement speed, sprint to fire speed, and sprint speed. You do lose a little bit of recoil control, aiming out of sway, and firing aim stability. Like I said, this is the best class setup for the Rival 9. I highly recommend trying it out. And if you do, let me know what you think of it down in the comments. I have a crazy gameplay for you guys. I ended up dropping like 60 plus kills. Make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, I'm going to be using the Rival 9. As of right now, there is like no submachine gun that's like super OP. I would say that this one is probably the better one out of the submachine gun like category. But I'm gonna try to help help you guys out and give you a good class setup. Oh my gosh. Too close that one. I don't know if I'll be able to get a nuke with it, but it's like I said, it's not really that good. This class setup makes it so much better. To drop this ammo. Dropping ammo here. Switching max. No. Why are y'all all just right there? Oh my god. Close one. Stun grenade. Smash one. Why are they all spawning right there? What is this game?
I don't understand the spawns. I, I feel like I spawn back there and I just get stuck. I can't go nowhere. Especially with a submachine gun. Teammates are like all over the hill. Hey bro, what? Where's this guy? Oh, there's a guy behind me. What? I got like no aim assist right there. Requesting close air. Got a good little 45 kills. I need to get 50. Oh, I got 50 already. Okay. Let's see if I can get 60. Sixty-four kills, uh, GG's.